what's up guys Mace Monks here back again with another video and happy holidays to everyone and in this video i'm going to show you guys on how you can make a, a fully working five member open server on linux vps so let's get started so currently i'm using a uh, linux server hosted on tap hosting which has debian 10 installed currently and uh even so videos will work for other operating systems as well like ubuntu and so, so on so let's get started first of all you need to have PuTTY installed on your computer to get PuTTY, uh you just go to this link putty.org i'll just put this link in the description of the video so don't worry about it just go into this link and just click here and just download uh, whatever the operating system you have like if you have 32 bit just download this one if you're 64 bit it's not okay so after it's done install you just open PuTTY and put in your server ip of your hosting and just open it okay after that it will ask for your username and password just put it in and you'll be good to go so after it's all done let's get started to the video guys okay first of all let's change our directory to home okay so let's sort this uh directory out okay so after that let's make a directory for our 5m okay after it's done let's change our directory to 5m so once we're inside our 5m directory we need to uh, get our server files for our uh, 5 minute server. So you need to have, go inside the 5 minute.net. I'll also put this link in the description of this video. So just go click on create a server now. Just go bottom until you see setting up a server. And uh, go bottom until we see Linux. Okay. Just right click here, artifact server. I mean, uh, just open it. And once you're inside here, just right click here. I'll put the direct link of this uh, in the description of this video, so do not worry about this video, guys. So just right click on our latest recommended. You can even use optional, but it is recommended to use the latest one. But right click on here and copy link and just go here and just type in wget and right click and enter. Okay, so it will download your download the uh, server files for uh, our server. So after this time, let's extract the file. Okay. So just type in tar xffx dot tar dot xc the name of the file okay so it will extract your uh server files and once it's done let's list the files and you can see we have extracted the file and we can even remove this uh file okay just type in rm fx dot tar dot xc because we don't need that file as anymore because uh we already extracted it so once you're done here we can install a uh, screen or tmux as um, using tmux will help you uh, make your ser server run uh, on the back run even if you close body so without tmux if you close this body out the server will shut down okay so yeah to install tmux just type in sudo apt that get install tmux so we already have we already have tmux installed on my server so i don't need to do uh, anything at all just type in this command i'll also put the, all the commands uh using this video down in the description of this video so do we'll check that out okay so once you're here just type in tmux and dot slash run dot such okay but before that we need to have a uh, database open on our server like uh, we need to install mariadb uh okay so do that just type in sudo apd that get install maria db dash server so once we install maria db just wait a bit guys it might take some time to install it uh as we need a database for our 5 server uh we need to install maria db uh okay so once it's done just type in mysql underscore secure underscore installation because we are installing sql uh if you have any current password we don't have any password right now just type enter none if you want to set uh, uh root password just type in root password if you want for a moment i'm tapping uh oh no no, no. i need to type in y right now and type the password you want to enter like all right so once you enter your password just type in remove animals users of course you saw our root login yes and remove yes just put on yes okay so once we are here uh, uh we need to edit some 
uh, MariaDB files to allow the uh, database to be accessible from anywhere on the server. So to do that, just uh, Oh, wait a bit, guys. Wait a bit. Wait a bit. Wait a bit. Wait a bit. So yeah, uh, to have your uh, database access uh, accessible from anywhere on the uh, on the on the server, you need to open uh, uh, the MariaDB ports. Like uh, by default, it's it only listens to the host or the uh, local host. So we need to edit this. So we need to go down until we see bind address. And make it to uh, 0 0.0.0.0, 0 .0, 0 .0, and Control O, and Enter, and Control X to exit. Okay. So once we edited that file, because if you don't want to open uh, your database from anywhere on the internet, you just don't need to uh, edit it. But I al always use Hide uh, Circle to edit my database, so I recommend you to edit that file. So once you are done. Uh, we need to create a user for our database. So just type in MySQL and we'll get inside MariaDB. And after it, let's create a user, a curate user. Like you can name anything you want. Like uh, right now, I'm using this, uh, making the user 5M at uh, percentage that listens to any IP right now and identified by password. You can type in the password for our username and database this will be your username for your database and this will be your password so for right now i'm just typing in 5m123 password okay and after it's done just click enter and hit enter and we need to give privilege to this user as well because without any privilege uh, the user will not be able to uh, access the database or uh, save anything on it so we do grant privileges so grant all privileges uh, on uh, this just follow everything I do okay guys to 5m at percentage okay so once it's done we need to flush our privileges oh no oh no sorry for that guys so once it's done, we need to exit out of this one, and we need to restart our uh, our Maria DV or MySQL. Anything works, okay? So once you restart the server, I mean MySQL, uh, we can go ahead in our creation of our Python server. So once it's done. We need to type in tmax, enter, and run our server. So that's the last one that I said. So for the first time, it will ask for your uh, to bind the pin because we are using TX admin. So we, using TX admin will, of course, help you in the long run because uh, you don't need to open your uh, putty to edit some files because uh, at TX admin, it, uh, helps in editing all the files for your configs or something like that or restarting any uh, resources for this for your servers so just copy this link and the space here so access our server sorry for that just the, if, if that hell if that uh, occurs for you just restart the, the uh, server and uh, for the first time you need to uh, bind our server like you can just copy and paste this pin so it's for me 3141 just link the account so to have tx admin running you need to have cfx 4m account uh, as you can see cfx is already 4m account and uh, you need to make an account on that so if you don't have this create one yourself and it's asking for a backup password for our server to access the tx admin you can type in anything you want because we don't need this because we're gonna always uh, log into our TX admin using our main CFX.re server. Uh, I mean, count. So from here, you can change your server name, like uh, I'm just typing test server. 
next and deployment type uh, popular template and just go ahead and use the posting as a spark because it's fully working server and uh, yeah just uh, you can change the path if you want but it's recommended to just leave it like that so yeah just go to go go to recipe deployer and uh, let's wait a bit and just hit next and it will download some files uh server files for on your database i mean uh, on your server let's go to key master and you need to have a license key for your uh five minute server to do that you need to have a uh, chief user already forum uh account as well so just go here after you have your uh, account here just go to here register and just type any display name you want like uh test server for me and put the ip address like the ip address should be this one on of your root server and uh, pick a type like it's my vps jab yeah you can just leave it like that as well just generate for you and it will generate a, a server key for you just copy this server key and just paste here and if you have any steam web key just type in here if you don't have just leave it like that only key just I'll wait a bit so and hide i'll just go to this advanced option and the database host should be local or you can even put the sorry for that sorry for that ip you just need to put your ip here and the database username is uh, another one like 5m for me and the password is 5m123 as you can as you said as as i already showed you here so you can change the database uh name like uh, right now i'm just using 5m or 5m okay 5m name or you can use uh jap or anything you want and just run the recipe and it will connect to our database and it will run the recipe and as you can see it, it, it downloaded all the server files and let us tap in next and once more save and run the server and uh, the server should hopefully run without any issue right now and as you can see tx admin helps in everything as you can see it has lots and lots of features like you can even use cft editor to edit your configuration file without going without even using this putty and right now you can close out of the just uh, hit control b d and exit out of it and as you can see we still have our server running in the background and we don't have any putty uh, running okay so from here you can restart your server turn off your server you can edit a resources file i mean a restart resources and you can go to settings you can just do anything you want so i will i will recommend you to use the admin because it's just one of the best thing to have on your server yep so for the first time it will uh start some resources for you so it might take some time just restart if you don't have any um uh responding of your server so use a uh, like restart or fx server global you can change your server name you can just buy you have a, a script bot and you can see the player names player uh player list and these are the resources if you want like you can you can uh you can have someone banned here you can have uh, you can see the live console so yeah as you can see the server is running fine right now so uh to connect to your server just uh tap in connect and just put this ip not this one only ip okay guys and you will be connected to your server so on the next video i'm going to show you guys on how to add mods on your anat mods plugins or a chat mod or something like that on your 5 server so stay tuned for that guys and uh thank you for watching the video i hope you guys like this video and it's been fox here back uh signing out and uh so yeah i think uh this video will help you guys on making a server on this new year so yeah uh to, to get a server i'll recommend you to use Zap hosting.
and uh, I'll also put the uh, 20% uh, permanent code on the link of the description of the video so you can use that and have a 20% of discount so they are also having a Christmas giveaway and you can participate on that and it will be in a gaming PC from here like as you can see they are giving away a gaming PC and uh, they're also having 50% of discount on everything here so you can use this code as well so yeah to get a server you just go here and you can just use anything you want like if you want a uh, shared hosting which is cheaper you can get this and but if you want a powerful system you just go to root server and just get it as well so the prices are very uh, cheaper and you can use my code to get get it even cheaper like uh, just let's let's see okay so let's rent a root server and see the price okay As you can see, uh, they have a premium data selection on Germany, and uh, you can choose the course, CPU course. Uh, you don't need to have more than four cores for your 5M server. A VPS hosting is also enough for your 5M server. But if you want a powerful uh, system, you can always go for a server. So this, the default setting is all good. You'll have an IP address, uh, the month, uh, and you can go here and just use Zap coins, or you can use PayPal. And just um, use voucher code and enter my code to have 20% off discount. I'll leave the code in the description of the video. And uh, and yeah, thank you for watching the video, guys. I hope you guys like the video and go check Jap Hosting out because they they provide a really really good server for the prices and uh, the server are always offer everything and um, they provide a lot of game servers as well and if you don't want any hassle like uh, if you don't want to use an alien server to host a game server you just go here you can just go here straight and just uh, host um, host your 5m server without any hassle and uh, yeah thank you for watching the video and i hope you guys like the video and please subscribe to the channel and like the video if you want any help just comment down below in this video and i'll, I'll be happy to help Thank you for watching the video, guys. It's Benchmarks here, signing out. Peace.